Today we will see what happens when someone pretends to be an LGBTQ ally. He is coming. Cover your butt. Let's get a bit of history out of the way first. Rachel Oates is friends with Stephen Wordford. Back when Stephen was rightfully being held accountable for his problematic content, Rachel was defending him from criticism. This is where Rachel's mask started to slide off. Rachel chose to defend her friend from criticism while throwing trans individuals under the bus. Sometime later, Rachel shared a private conversation she had with a trans individual and decided to gaslight that individual and dismiss the concerns of that individual. There are links to all the relevant videos in the description. Rachel has slowly but surely been showing that she doesn't care about helping the trans community and yet still calls herself an ally while doing harm to the trans community. Rachel, in an attempt to prove that she would defend the trans community, told us that she would call out transphobia whenever she saw it. And she didn't like how homophobes and transphobes were portrayed in the video. According to Hannah, apparently it is not okay to demonize people who are just innocently going around spreading hate and hurting others. They're not doing anything wrong, except to all those people they're hurting, but it's not fair to criticize them for that. So like I say, on the one hand she's a pretty small channel, so no sending hate her way, be nice to her please. On the other hand, if you're gonna be homophobic or transphobic, I don't care how big or small your channel is, I'll call it out when I see it. However, more recently, Rachel is starting to promote transphobic content to her subscribers. It seems that the self-proclaimed LGBTQ ally forgot that she promised to call out transphobia whenever she saw it. In a recent video, Rachel promoted the channel Rose of Dawn. Rose of Dawn doesn't have a couple of spicy takes, but is instead a channel dedicated to pushing transphobia. Before people start calling this guilt by association, let's clear a couple of things. I am not criticizing Rachel because she is friends with bigots. Personally, I think you can be friends with bigots. If you want to hear more about my opinion on the matter, watch the live stream I did on Rachel and her response to one of my tweets. What I am criticizing Rachel for is promoting transphobic content. In particular, Rachel promoted Rose's content. Here is Rachel telling her subs how great Rose is and to go support her channel. Next up, I want to shout out another English girl who is absolutely killing it on YouTube, and that is Rose of Dawn. I think she is wonderful. I only discovered her channel maybe like six months ago, um, but I already love seeing how much she's grown and improved. And again, she's another person who works incredibly hard. Let's talk a little bit about what Rose's channel contains. Without even needing to watch some of the videos, the intent of this channel is very clear. Rose has a whole series called Trans Stupid. In this series, Rose finds trans individuals overreacting in order to show how stupid the trans community is. I don't see how a self-proclaimed trans ally can look at that content and think this is worth promoting. In this series, Rose is dismissive of the concerns of trans individuals, ridicules trans individuals because they are upset over misgendering, and overall promotes the idea that the trans community is overreacting and should not be taken seriously. Rachel, what about this series do you feel you need to promote exactly? Next, we have Rose's position on non-binary individuals. According to Rose, non-binary identification is meaningless and not deserving of respect. Is the real truth of being non-binary, and that is nothing. Non-binary is meaningless. It is a pointless identity. It literally means nothing. So why am I talking about this then? If it's completely pointless, if there is nothing to being and be, if it is a complete waste of time, if it isn't even really that much deserving of respect. This is where we start to see the transphobia gush out. Unlike many other transphobes, Rose does nothing to hide her transphobia. She openly tells her viewers that people who identify as non-binary are not worthy of respect, not because of their actions, but rather because of how they identify. Rose is promoting to her audience to deny the existence of NB individuals because she does not think their identity is worth respect. Is this the content a trans ally promotes? 
We then have Rose's position on transmedicalism. If you don't know what a transmedicalist, they are individuals that deny that a person is trans unless they have fulfilled their rules of medically transitioning and socially transitioning. This kind of gatekeeping denies the identity of trans individuals that don't or can't transition and in some cases are not passing enough for Rose's standards. I've talked about this a lot in the past, so I don't want to bang on about it too much here. Suffice to say, it's a bad idea. People like me really require the actual medical care to make sure that we are doing the right thing when we are transitioning. And it worries me that we've got yet another major political party in the UK that just seems to follow along with the angry activists and not listen to many other trans people who think this is stupid. We're not alone in this. We can see that this is damaging. It's damaging to women's faces if you're just going to let anyone in who says, I'm a woman. You will notice that Rose promotes the idea of men pretending to be women in order to invade women's spaces. This is fear-mongering that has led to the harassment of trans women. This leads to fear of trans women, creating obstacles to the acceptance of trans individuals. I ask you again, Rachel, is this the content that a trans ally promotes? Before you write in the comments that Rachel has already apologized about promoting Rose, I am aware of her video and you can watch my response to it. If you don't want to sit through the whole video, I'll give you a quick breakdown. Rachel says that the reason she promoted Rose was because Rose challenges Rachel and that we should all be willing to be challenged and that she feels she would challenge Rose on any of their disagreements because me and her do disagree on quite a few things like politically and stuff and she's not afraid to challenge me and call me out on stuff and I like to think that I could do the same if I wanted to with her. The problem is that Rachel never challenges Rose. Even in her video attempting to clarify why she promoted Rose, Rachel never once challenges Rose. Rachel simply states that she disagrees with Rose. Rachel has no problem defending transphobes and has no problem promoting a channel that promotes transphobia, all the while giving herself the title of trans ally. Rachel has more concern with protecting transphobes and ensuring their ideas go unchallenged than she does with standing up for trans individuals.